Hello everyone, welcome back to the Football Project YouTube channel. Today I'm back with another video. Uh, after the international break, we're back into the Fantasy Premier League world. I had an amazing game week uh, 8. 86 points in total. Uh, we were very good, they were very high rank. The best I've ever done, 70,000 in the world. And... Um, it was all in all a great week. Uh, we had Ziyech with uh, two assists. Bruno Fernandes scored a lot of points. Watkins scored a lot of points. Kane. I should have put Bruno Fernandes captain, but either than that, the week was perfect. And uh, I'm not going to be making many changes. I do have the one transfer, and I think I'm going to make one small change to the, to the team. Uh, the defense didn't do great. Uh, keep uh, Justin. I'm gonna keep him though, cause he's a he's a very good player. He's cheap, and uh, even though Leicester are playing Liverpool this week, so they're probably gonna concede a few goals. Uh, Cody, there's a chance he's not gonna be be playing. This is although there's a 75% chance of playing, so I'm gonna keep him in. Kind of Cody never misses a game. I think he hasn't missed a game in the last two years, so. I don't think this will happen this week. So let's go to the transfers. Okay, so my thought process was that I might get rid of uh, Reese James to bring in Alex Tejas. And that's because Man United do have a, a easier game against West Brom. And next week they do play against Southampton, even though they're quite good. Alex Tejas could get some assist. He has a very good cross on him. Uh, I think he's the corner taker as well, so there's a good chance he might get a few points, and uh, I, th I think he's a more exciting left back uh, than Rhys James. Rhys James hasn't produced for me the last three, four weeks I think I've had him in. So I think I'm going to bring in Alex Tejas for him, and I do have 1.3 million in the bank, and if I remove James and I bring in Tejas... So, where is Tejas? Man United. Alex Tejas, 5.5 million. I still have 0 0.8 million in the bank for next week. And we have, I think, a more attacking option at the, at the back here. Uh, now, let's see some of the games. Aston Villa, Watkins might have a goal in him against Brighton. Spurs against Manchester City. It's not the best thing to have two Spurs players. Uh, I tried to find a way to get rid of one of them, but then I would I would be left with a lot of money in the bank, and I don't want to do that. Uh, I was thinking of bringing in Carver Lewin for Kane because I would have an easy game, but I, they are not on the same level. And um, Son, I thought of bringing in Rashford, but again. I don't think it's worth it. I'm going to risk it uh, having two Spurs players against Manchester City. Manchester City don't have the best defence. Spurs should be able to score at least one or two goals against them. I'm hoping both of them are involved. Uh, Chelsea, I do have Ziyech. I do have Jorginho. I don't think Jorginho is playing anymore. So I think he's just a bench player for me now. Uh, but Ziyech has been amazing for Chelsea the last two games. I'm going to keep him in. Chelsea play against Newcastle. Should be able to do something more. Vardy's playing against Liverpool. He always scores against big sides. Bruno Fernandes has an easy game against the West Brom and Albion. And I'm expecting at least a goal or an assist or something from him. And um, I think these, this is the team for next week. So I'm going to make the transfers. Confirm transfers. Now let's pick the team. Uh, at goalkeeper we have Ryan or McCarthy. I'm going to go for McCarthy. Um, I don't trust Brighton keeping a clean sheet against Aston Villa. I don't think McCarthy is going to keep a clean sheet e uh, either. But uh, Wolves are not the attacking threat that Aston Villa are this season. So I'm going to keep McCarthy in goal. Uh, Tejas obviously is going to start for me. I'm going to keep Cody in even though he has a chance that he might not play. I trust he, that he will play. And uh, Justin is my third. But I might change. Actually, now I'm going to bring in Mitchell. And I might bring in Justin for Cody. I, I might change this last minute so I'll let you guys know next week. 
I'm going to keep Mitchell in because his injury is gone and uh, Crystal Palace should keep a clean sheet against Burnley. Um, the last thing is, do I keep in Cody or Justin? I'm going to gonna leave that until the end. I might keep Justin just because he's more of an attacking threat than Cody. And uh, on the midfield, obviously Son, Ziyech and Fernandes are obviously in. So it's between Jorginho and Klich. Klich is playing against Arsenal. Arsenal very usually the last uh, the season they are very tough to uh, to get goals against even though Aston Villa destroyed them 3-0. Uh, it should be I think Arsenal are going to beat Leeds this week just for the way Leeds are playing is it's a more open style of play. I think it suits Arsenal. They will uh, leave Leeds have the ball, they will play on the break and I think with the defensive problems that uh, Leeds have, Arsenal will win that game. So Aubameyang is another option. And I was thinking of bringing in Aubameyang, but I would not have enough money if I go rid of Son. Uh, so I'm gonna bring in. Uh, I'm gonna. St I'm gonna leave Klich in. I'm gonna see some last-minute reports to see if Jorginho might start. And if Jorginho is going to start, I'm gonna. I'm gonna bring Jorginho into the starting lineup. And obviously the front three picks itself, Vardy, Kane and Watkins. So I want to change, uh, I'm going to captain Bruno Fernandes this week. And uh, I think I'm going to leave Son as the vice captain. Uh, Vardy, I don't think he's going to score more than one. But I think he has one in him at least. Actually, no, I'm going to put Vardy as a vice captain. I'm going to go for Vardy to score against Liverpool. They have a lot of problems defensively with Liverpool, so... I think Vardy can pounce on that and maybe score a few goals. Uh, so this is my team for this week, guys. Uh, what do you guys think of it? Uh, I'm hoping that I have a, a, as good a week as last week, but I don't think that's going to happen because of the Son and Kane uh, situation here. They have a tough game. and um, But we're still hoping for the best. Uh, we are 1.2 million uh, in the world, a good rank, uh, I'm pretty happy, so let's see what this week brings and I'll see you guys next week reviewing the game week 9 and getting ready for game week 10. I'll see you guys on the next video, thank you guys for watching, subscribe and like the video, if you enjoyed it, I'll see you on the next one, goodbye.